Welcome to Thunder Valley Raceway here in Noble, Oklahoma, home to the 405 Red Dirt and the fourth day of racing here at 1320 Videos Rocky Mountain Race Week. Yesterday was a very interesting day. The drivers had all day to drive 400 miles, but it's a good thing they did because they were faced with some treacherous conditions. We had downpouring rains, flash floods for the first three hours, four hours of the day, and then beautiful skies, and then another rainstorm hit us again. Some interesting things happened on the road. We're gonna go show you that right now, and then we're gonna get to the racing here in Noble. Welcome to 417 Motorsports. We got a little barbecue party for us tonight. Oh yeah! Let's go eat. Did you look at that score body? Dang. Lincoln Continental Lincoln seats? Bruh. This is life. Get him. 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 Get Two, one. Ah! <laughs> comfy in there? This race hurts. <laughs> this what? This race hurts. Oh god. <laughs> well, about ten minutes into our trip, we spotted some on the side of the road. Looks like they're fixing something. Let's see what we got. Good morning. What's up? You guys good? Yeah. yeah. Just oil pressure gauge. Ah. Uh, Just making nice a mess on his leg, you know? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Luckily, there's an O'Reilly's here. On a good note, it means it has oil, so. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good thing. Cool. Nice, easy fix. Good. Hopefully, I'll see you guys on the rodeo soon. Yeah, for sure. Good luck. Take it easy. Some people are just pulling over on the side. Yeah. Here's checkpoint number one for the day. And then the rain. And racers with slicks and no street tires is going to be hard to do. Blah, 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 blah. It go rain. Happy. He mentioned that once and nobody's let him lose it down for the past two years. Well, you know, that's, that's, that's how it should be. This, this you you don't get a mention, a comment like that. I guess we should have got wipers. We got carnage. She tried to, she tried to lock right there. Uh -huh. So it's coming up against something. It's coming up against something. It tried to lock right there. Did you hear that? Popping out on the valve over there. It sounded like it's on that side once, and that sound like it's over here. Well, luckily these guys found some some cover here. It just started raining about 50 miles into our trip today on our way to Noble, Oklahoma. And they found a spark plug that's been bashed up, probably some, from, from some shrapnel being in the cylinder. Uh, they're trying to figure out what they're going to do right now. They're going to put a new spark plug in there and see if it'll run better. Uh, and if it doesn't, that means they're either going to be out or they're going to be trying to find a new motor to put in this thing. So what's the game plan? Load it up. You done? I'm done. Yeah. Done. Okay, that it's done. sucks. Stick a fork in it. Fork in it. It'd be all right. I he, he just spotted a U-Haul place right there. there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah a dolly so down there. We'll yeah. go rid of the dolly and get great control. Well, sir, we'll see you next year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, they, well you do drag weight.
Oh, we'll, we'll be at Drag Week, yes, sir. We'll be. Anyway, thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Welcome to Arkansas. We'll be here momentarily. Or on go petting zoo in Penton Alligator. This is going to be a long day for racers that have radials or slicks on. Uh, rain is no good on those tires, so this six or seven hour drive could t turn into 10, 12, 14 hours, depending on the weather goes. Stripper fishing. Stri striper? Oh, dang. Stripper is two feet. I know this. <laughs> Checkpoint number two. Oh, we found the Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> How's it going? Well, you got good tires. Yeah, it's all right. There's some guys back there that they, they're pulled over because they got slicks and radials. You guys are lucky. Was that Jim and that Falcon? Yeah. yeah. He's still inside. Yeah. All right. There's a, another car broke. Another car broke. Broke. He's done. Oh no. Yeah. because we got off and went around it. White truck, I don't know uh, what else it was. <laughs> they got headsets. Yeah, they're awesome. <laughs> you guys have headsets? What was that? You have headsets? Yes. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Your ears still ring at the end of the day. I bet. Oh, Lord. Is it moving away from us? I don't know. We were kind of going parallel um, to it on the freeway. But now we got to start. We, we zoom out. We go back over that direction, don't we? Mm hmm. Should I stop? Yeah. yeah. Are they fishing? What are they doing? Stop for a couple beers. You guys look really comfy. We're roughing it. Yeah. We're roughing it. Do you guys break? No. How are you guys traveling? Oh, it's rough in here, man. I, I almost had to put a hoodie on earlier. <laughs> yeah. How many gallons per mile have you gotten? Uh, about 10. <laughs> 10 miles to the gallon. <laughs> there you go. It's not bad. It's actually getting a lot better than the first drag week. We were getting two miles a gallon. Oh, my God. So, How yeah. would you do that? We were carrying like 300 liters of fuel in the <laughs> U-Haul. face on the boat. Maybe they'll go fishing with us. You guys want to go fishing? Oh no! I was waiting for him to fall. <laughs> yes! First time his boat's been wet in a while. Oh, sh look at that! So I was just telling him that uh, the Aussies just did a big burnout right there. Nah, we saw that. So you guys, you guys kind of have to do a burnout. Tires are wet. Trailer burnout. Yeah, tires are oh, yeah, wet. You're wet. good to go. 
I think they need to do one. Yeah? But we burn out. The Aussies didn't dunk a boat in the water, though. <laughs> That's and true. the Aussies. I don't know. That was pretty good. Aussies are still king, but that one's better. Yeah, I think they got them on you distance. Just hear the radials. Just, that, yeah. 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 That was pretty good. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Look at the smoke. Holy that was like almost right now. Wow. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> I think they went right around the same distance. Aussies were a little, uh, <laughs> a little more sideways. <laughs> yeah, they were. The Aussies are the power, proper power scale with no brakes, but they both kicked ass. Damn. Time for some weather. Whoa. Look out for a boat. There's my number one. Good call. <laughs> on the other side of the building. Right. In the front of that building. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, oh sh. Is it just. just chilling there? Oh, they're there. They're in there. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they're just taking a break. I'll go say hi. Here. This is one of my favorite racers. He's pulled on the side of the road. We're gonna see what's going on here. Mr. Brown. How's it going? Good, we just stopped trying to figure out our directions. <laughs> Do you want to just follow us? No. no. Yes, yeah, sure. Well, yeah, sure, we'll follow you as long as you're going the directions. We're just making sure we're not gonna be lost. If you guys, we if were you... looking for square bodies, but we couldn't find any. God. Uh, it's been pretty uneventful. We stopped in that little town when the storm was coming through. Right. Santa, covered the gas station area. Blow over and got back on the road. So it's not a beer. Calm down. Brew crew. <laughs> this is uh, what you get. Uh, cream soda. Are you guys? Where are you guys staying at? Uh, hotel. Yeah. Hotel. Motel, motel. Hotel somewhere down that way. Yeah, we're about an hour from where we're staying. Do you guys want to follow us? Sure. sure. All right. Cool. You want, you, want to, you, can drive? Hey, you want to? Scott can drive you. Yeah. 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 I want to ride this guys. thing. Okay, you too. Yeah. All right. I get to ride in one of the cars. This is awesome. Now take it easy. The the air conditioned seats will get you. Oh. It gets really cold in oh, there. Oh gosh. So <laughs> I won't be spoiled. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, the seat is just as comfy as I thought it would be. Hey, man, y'all good? Yes. All right. We're good. Thanks, man. Sir, thank you for the drive. Oh, you're very yeah. welcome, man. It's, it's one of my favorite show. cars on drag. It's really <laughs> nice I get to ride in it. So thank, thank you, man. Thank you very much. Man. Appreciate it. How was the air conditioning? Oh, it was beautiful. Turn on the AC seat and all that? Oh, it was already on. There they go. We'll see you tomorrow. Super sleeper. Their hitch came off. Holy sh! Oh no! Let's go. Let's go see if we can help him. You guys okay? Yeah, my kids uh, the trailer. Uh, so I call my dad and see if he can my other kids. Man, that ain't gonna hurt me. Just snap right off.
Oh my god. Whoa. Well, it didn't do too much damage. Dang, it broke right off. Oh, it went up here? Yeah. Oh my god. I was like, we're from a trailer chains. He's like, yeah, but the whole hitch broke off. So everything that was attached, like the chains and everything? Yeah. Oh, it's just one piece. Luckily, I don't know what they're going to do right now, but she's only like 15 minutes from the house right now. Yeah. So they can go back to the shop and fix it later or whatever. Man, was really lucky it never hit a car or anything. She was in the outside lane. Just followed her. Just kind of went in front of us. Up on top of the right first thing I saw was she was in front of them, but her trailer was over in the left lane. Oh no! And I'm like, what the? F and then all of a sudden, it veered out, and then it hit that big dirt mound. It just hit it, just dirt explosion, just launched. Wow, that's a lot of weight in there, I bet. Yeah. On a happier note, congratulations on first place. <laughs> now I'm just hoping to make it. I there. know. No kidding. It ends up happening every week. Early at least today. it's at least it's early today, and you're right by the track in your house. Yes, I'm close. Of to all the places for this to happen. Yeah. Man. The last few racers are rolling in. We're about to kick off racing. Let's head to the track and show you the racing action from day four of Rocky Mountain Race Week. Dom's ready to rock and roll. Always. We're in the old school 1320. Oh, yeah. style. First pair down the track. going on <laughs> well if he gets another 10 oh, 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 oh you just I'll... got to keep hot lapping all day <laughs> i've already ran like 35 in three days i know i need tires now <laughs> style points on the trip so far. I like what you guys are doing with the car and the and the chalk. It looks like fun. Tell yeah, me about what you got going paint. on here. Well, it's chalkboard paint, so nice. <laughs> I couldn't decide on a color, so uh, wrapped some flat black and had to be chalkboard paint. Like, my grandkids came out and they wanted to ride on the car, so it was, you know, kind of a fun deal. So <laughs> We got a few gassers on Rocky Mountain Race Week, and this, I think you're the quickest, are you? No, no, not no? by far. Um, there's, uh, um, as, maybe as far as the, the gassers uh, On know, this trip? Uh, yeah, the gassers go, but in the class, the hot rod class, ah, okay. there's three in front of me.
plug. Yeah, we're Yeah, straight off. pound of boost up top lever, everything else the same. I shallow staged and I get down there and he's been messaging me telling me what the time is and I'm like, I go, what is it? What is it? He goes, oh the clock's messed up. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> so so I get back and I, and the guy's giving me a thumbs up at the, the timing tower. I get it and I see them all jumping up and down. I think oh, I must man. have hugged, hugged ten people by the time That's I got great. There. So, there's a I, it's gonna be really close for first now. So <laughs> That's awesome. John's the man he came out they have to come down from Denton, come up from Denton to hang out and nice. put his fingers on the laptop for a few there minutes and did this magic and I was That's just great. doing the driving, <laughs> so doing what I was told. So. Days, just under two hours to get swapped over and run a good number so they can regain regain the lead against Tina. Tina had a good pass, so they're gonna have to run a seven something to get back in, in the lead. So we'll see if they got time to do it. So after the previous day of racing, Royce is now in second place to Tina Pierce. He needs a 760 to tie Tina, or at least a 7 something to be within reach of her tomorrow for the final day of racing. If he's gonna go hot lap it, so so I'm continuing to do the, I'm continuing to do the math, and right now you can see Tina's leading. No, you don't know what number I'm looking at. Tina's leading by basically 0 0.101 seconds uh, as of the pass he, that Royce just made. That's why he's coming back up here because he wants to close that gap. Otherwise, Friday's gonna be a big struggle because we know Tina's truck to run a seven. They barely started turning that thing up. Oh yeah. So he just forgot to turn his water pump on, which hopefully won't be bad for the motor, but it pukes some water coolant onto the track, so they're gonna clean that up and should be able to make a pass. Hopefully we can get it cooled down in time.
she was shifting there. I wish I could coast to a 945. So after an aborted pass by Royce, that leaves T in the lead by just over one tenth. And that doesn't seem like a lot, but that's over four days and it will be over five days when they're racing tomorrow. We know Tina's got a seven in her car. Royce has been running some sevens. So it's gonna be a crazy battle for the $15,000 tomorrow. We're gonna hit the road, go back to Great Bend, Kansas for another long drive, probably nearly 400 miles tonight, tomorrow morning, and then tomorrow racing starts at 3 p.m. We'll see you guys in Great Bend. That was on we got, we got lunch points. now. Let me explain the discussion for the next eight hours where we're driving 363 miles. Square body. Fred's posed a question yesterday we've been talking about for the last 30 hours. And that question is, would you rather be socks on, a right? giant squirrel, like a six foot squirrel, six foot squirrel, or a tiny rhinoceros, like the size of like a large yellow lab? So like, like, it, like dogs, like a li large dog sized rhinoceros. That That's your question. Answer in the comments below. Large squirrel. Tiny rhino is my answer. All everybody else says the car is wrong, except for Dom. Dom Team giant that. squirrel. <laughs> Tiny rhino. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching that video. If you have not checked out our merch store recently, there's over 100 items on there with a bunch of new releases. We'll have a link in the description below, so make sure you guys go check that out. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there and check out these couple videos over here. Also, go ahead and check out our new channel, 1320 Video Uncut. We're going to have a whole bunch of unseen content on that channel right there, so make sure you stay tuned and check that out. We'll see you guys in the next video.